Hello everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to Education. So this is a game that was released today on Steam. If you want to try it for yourself, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's only a couple of quid, you know, so it might be worth it. I'm about to find out, let's have a look. My name is Bart Blake, and I did some bad things in my youth. Yet I had dozens of friends who would stand by me and parents who supported me through everything. I really did it all in good fun, not considering how I might have hurt someone. After all, many of my victims had a good chuckle over my pranks afterwards. In my nightmares, I constantly replay the good and the bad memories. There's lots of history here. Now here I am, once again, at the path to this school from my youth. I have yet to escape it. What? Okay, so what, we were we were a bully in school? And now we're coming back to make up for it, I don't know. Wow, this is pretty though, look at this. How smooth is this? Well, as you can see, we've got all the graphics on Ultra. That's why it looks so nice. Right then, so what's back up here? This is the car then, is it, where we... Okay. I should move forward. Right, we can't go back to the car. Well, that's me told. Let's get on with it then. Got an inventory? No. Map? No. Yeah, this is a nice start with this game. Don't really understand the plot so far. But I'm sure we'll get there, eventually. Gotta make our way to this school. Something tells me this isn't it. Can we go in? Have a little look around. No, we can't interact with the door or anything. No other way in then. Probably not. There we go, this is a way in here. Is that my torch? Let's go grab it. Yeah. So F or right mouse button for the light. Yeah. I prefer F. I'm more used to F. Okay, this looks like the gate to the school. Well, he's out of breath. Needs to get some exercise, our guy does. Chapter 2. Welcome back. To hell. What the fuck is that noise? Is this school haunted now? Not sure who that was screaming, but they didn't sound like they were having fun, did they? This, bit of reading. Can we read this? Yeah. Dear Diary, today in class was wear your clothes backwards day. What? What kind of a day is that? Once a week, our favourite teacher, Mrs Redmond, has a fun day for us. All my friends and fellow classmates laughed for an hour as we paraded around in our backwards and inside out tops, pants and jackets. Oh, should I write this? One of my classmates? Well, I'll be honest, he's normally quite annoying. Anyway, not only wore his t-shirt inside out, but he cut it so it was upside down. And he did that to his pants too. I could hear Mrs. Redman mutter that it was a bit inappropriate, but at least he was wearing underwear. Right, okay. Yeah, we used to have a similar day in school, but it was only once a year where we didn't have to wear a uniform. No, we didn't get to wear clothes backwards and shit. Yeah, this looks like an electrocution hazard, so we're not step. I keep hearing these weird squishing noises. So we're not stepping in that, let's walk around it. Can I read any of these little love letters? No. What's that on the chair? Can't read that either. Not sure if there's any puzzles in this game. If there is, it might take a while for me to complete. This is lighting up, what's that? Um, what did I just pick up? I have no idea. Very creepy atmosphere. A bit more reading here. Dear Diary, Mrs. Redmond says we should write down our annoyances and worries onto paper, then read them again an hour later, then tear them up. So there's this horrible student in my class, Bart Blake, one of the most aggressive students. He's the one who will rip your lunch out of your hands and eat it, and hit you in your face to get the ball back from you in gym. 
When we had our fundraiser day, he laughed in my face when I asked for a donation. Well, get this, wearing his expensive Armani shirt. What a spoiled rich brat. And on top of that, he never does homework or any assignments. Yeah, sounds like a bit of a knob. But hey, that was school. That's what people are like in school. See something else glowing here. What's that? Is that a key? Yeah, I've already found a key. I don't know what the key is for. Anything on this desk? See something glowing here. Is that a camera? Pick the camera up. Achievement unlocked. Camera one. Right. Okay. Great. So we've got a camera and we've got a key. I've no idea what either of them are for. Let's see if we can go find out. So that's the first door we've tried. Let's go down this way this time. More clicking noises and opening doors. I think my torch just run out. Yeah, I don't like those squishing noises. So we can't get the torch back on. That door's locked. Let's try this one. That's locked. I have a feeling all these are going to be locked. No, this one's open. This game's got me paranoid already. What? Yeah, that's nice. Thanks for that. I think those noises are just random. What's that? Dear Mr. Blake, I'm sorry to say that I had to give Bart all F's in his six classes this year. This includes English, Math, Social Studies, Art, Music and Science. Not only did Bart fail every single test he's written, if he even did them at all, but he also failed to deliver projects, reports and homework on time, if at all. I'm really sorry to have to tell you this, but he has not only failed the class, but also his grade. And we'll have to repeat it next year. Might I suggest you book an appointment for him at the optometrist's clinic? So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be putting batteries in this flashlight or something, but I really can't get it. Guess I should investigate the corridor. Yeah, I'm not done in here yet, mate. What's that? I don't know what I found there. Ah, that's a battery. Okay, so it just reloads them into your torch automatically. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what's in the corridor. Try this one. Locked. Locked. No, this one's open. These are the toilets, yeah. What have we got in here? Is that another... Some more batteries. Anything in here? Another camera. Camera 2. This door here. Locked. This last door here. Locked. Okay, what's the noise he was talking about in this corridor? Need to find where this key fits, I think. It's this here. More batteries. That's that refilled. Already tried there. Let's go further down here this time. That's where we came in. What have we got here? Push. Yeah, that looks weird. Let's have a look in the ear first. That's locked. So what are we doing with this then? Oh, we can we can just crawl through. Nice. This is so weird at the moment. More batteries. That's all I'm finding at the moment. Batteries and cameras. Here's another key though. Maybe we can get somewhere else now. Can we crouch? So there's no crouching. We do have a sprint button though. Probably just means I need to run away from something in a bit. Key isn't for this door by any chance, is it? It is. Loading. Chapter 3. I'm flying through this. Again, no torch. Not much happening, is there? The only scare we had so far is when the lights switched off. Should I be jumping in this water? Oh, it's not that deep. It's all good. Looks like a puzzle there. What's this? A clue for the puzzle. Donald Blake, owner of the Blake Coal Mines. 
Owner of the Blake Coal Mines not only employs hundreds of people in the town, but is also a powerfully rich man. Workers and townsfolk alike look up to him for improving the town's economy, taking it from dozens of homeless and destitute people to giving them jobs so they can afford their own homes and become self-sufficient. The Blake family has not only purchased a new property where they aim to build a four-storey house on several hundreds of acres, but they also purchased a vacation cottage on the beach. Donald Blake started at the bottom as a coal miner and worked his way up to being admired and loved throughout the community. Things were looking up for both him and this town. Right then, so... So Donald Blake is... Sounds like a good guy. Not looking forward to solving this. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Um. Okay. Do we have to get these all to... Match up like that. Am I in? No. There's not really a clue for the puzzle. Are we just supposed to know what to do with this? Is there a clue in here somewhere? Blah de blah de blah blah. Hmm. Things were looking up for both him and his town. You think it could be that? Maybe they should be looking up? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so both of them are looking up. Ah, we got this, we got this! Now do that. And then... There. There we go. Okay, that was an easier puzzle than I thought. What did that do? It did something. Not quite sure what it did. I mean, I get a noise every time I do eat. Oh, the drawer's opened. Shit. Yeah, I've got to keep my eyes peeled in this game. And on we go, finally. Always takes me way too long to solve simple puzzles like that. What have we got there? A camera. Who's that? You are right there, mate? Is that a person or... something else? Yeah, I don't like the look of that. This here. Is that a teapot? What the hell? Why have I picked a teapot up? Let's read this. Dear Diary, it's all lies in the media about my boss and coal mine owner, Donald Blake. Never has a man been so hated. He doesn't pay our health insurance at all. Out of my meagre wages, I must pay hundreds of dollars each month. And what a joke in the news. Taking the homeless and destitute and giving them homes. If you include a small shack with high rent a home, I don't know of one single coal miner worker who likes him. When he visits us, he openly derides us. Tells us that if we work hard, we'll benefit from it. As if working 12 hours a day has put me any further ahead. Right, so we're hearing from two different sides here. Blake is a bad man. Blake is a good man, we don't know yet. What the fuck? What are we doing with this guy's face? What? Okay. So we're tipping water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell? Did I just revive him with water? Where's he going? Should we be following? Is it safe to go near him? You are right, mate? Look a bit rough. Take your time. I hope he's going to break that open for me, is he? Certainly hope so. Like, whenever you're ready, mate. I know you've been for a sleep for maybe, a, you know, a decade or two. Here we go. He's going to pull the bars off for me. That's it. And now he drops dead. How convenient. Got the torch back. We're somehow back in the school. It's a different part of the school, though. That's locked. Let's check downstairs first before we venture up there. What the fuck is that? Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that is. I've just picked it up anyway. So yeah, I don't know what that is. I've just picked up there. I have no idea. Maybe, you know, give us a little bit of a description on what we're picking up. There's another one. Pick it up. So we're picking these little statues up. There's another one. Not sure if we need these. Let 
let's read this little diary entry. I don't like what's happening here. Besides Mrs. Redmond being gone now, and the coal miners are struggling to make ends meet. My dad works there. I heard some more bad news. Mr. Redmond had been suing Mr. Blake for money, but sadly, justice does not prevail. Donald Blake won the trial thanks to his highly paid lawyers. How ironic that someone besides him is earning money in this town. Oh, and the police do nothing, despite Bart admitting he broke into their house. The more batteries. Good. Torture is about to run out. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with the story, but I will read the notes for you. Oh, so we just put a statue down there. There's another one. I don't know if I found all the statues. Another battery, thank you. There's another one. That's three I've placed. So I've got to find another, that's four. Another one there, no. Is that though, batteries? So is that it then? Do I need to find one more statue for that? Let's go have a look around, see what we can find. Let's check under these stairs here. Let's go put that down then. Ah, oh, that was easy. They're all pretty close together. Now was it here? Does that do anything? Something's just opened up there. Let's have a look. What the fuck is that? A brain with a key inside. Right. See where this key fits then. It looks like it's just a puzzle game to me, this. No jump scares, no horror. Let's go to the left side of the upstairs first. Try this door. Looks like the way out though. Yeah. Gotta go find another key now for that. Oh man, my batteries have just run out. See if we can find some in here. Finally they got some more batteries. Shit, I hate these rooms. You can't walk around freely. You have to go up every aisle. Anything up here? There. No, got to do nothing with that. What about this? Might have to interact with this eventually. Try and remember that's in there. But let's check the other side of the upstairs. Yeah, there's a few more rooms around. A creepy corridor here. Another camera. Camera 3. What the fuck is that? Are we inside a giant brain? What the fuck? Oh, damn this torch! Open, please. Screw you, then. Please open. Right, so... It seems that we are lost. Battery, nice. Okay, gotta be careful of the batteries now. We need to stop burning through them. Something telling me I need to interact with this thing here. It's there. If you agree that Bart Blake should be permanently expelled from our school, please sign below. That's a lot of signatures. But Bart must have been a little shit. Yeah, see this little white dot here? It's telling me I need to interact with this thing. But I don't think I can interact until I've got whatever I need to put on here. Maybe another one of these little heads. Let's have another look around. So there's something up here I'm missing somewhere. What time is it? Five past midnight. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the outside. Looks like we're inside some sort of giant organ. Hello, what are we missing? Come on, Sean, it's here somewhere. What's that? There it is! Damn! They do hide these items in this game. Okay, now we can put it on. Thank you. What? 
Oh great, now I've got oh, that opened. So there's the next key. So it's basically it's just a key hunter, basically. A few puzzles. Go through here now. No, can't go through that one. See if we can find some other locked doors then, yeah? No doors up there. I reckon it's one of these ones. There it is. Let's see what bullshit... There's that scream again. That's the only thing that's happened so far. Okay, let's see what bullshit is in this room then. More batteries. Camera. Number four. Really need to turn them achievements off. They bug me. Dear Diary, I have feared the bad news. I can't take it anymore. Despite us having over 200 signatures from my fellow students and 200 more from the parents and teachers, the school administration refuses to expel Bart. They are afraid of Donald Blake, his father, who holds great power over this town. Right, so Donald Blake is the father of Bart. So Bart sounds like he might have been a little bastard. Puzzle. Um, well, this one seems easy to be fair. What does that say? Oracle? Yeah, so that's right. That isn't there, is it? That is. I think. And then... There. What just opened? Something just opened up somewhere. I don't know if it was the door. I don't know. Damn, we need indicators, man. Show me what you're doing with me. Maybe we can go now. Something's telling me no. Oh, well, whoop de doo What? Okay, then we just got some uh, ceiling crumbling down. Nothing too concerning. There. 200 students have left the school in protest of school district refusing to expel Bart Blake. What a surprise. Okay, we've got some batteries now. Oh, I thought that was going to be locked. Well, we've made it to the next part of the school. The problem is, nothing's going on. 200 students, 12 teachers and several staff have refused to return to the school. They have all migrated to a different school where they are adamant they will permanently stay. The school is now permanently closed. Today you can walk past it and see how it's in ruins. Our reporters quickly peeked inside but were quickly turned away by the dank smell and how their flashlight did little to light up the deep black pit of space. Right, so we're Bart Blake. What? Okay. At least something's happened. Yeah, so as I was saying, Bart Blake terrorised all the students in the school. But they wouldn't get rid of him because his father had too much power. So 200 students and 12 teachers decided to leave. Damn, must have been bad behaved. She needs to be slowly picking up the pace in this one. So it's now chapter 5. I still feel like I haven't achieved anything. Yeah, we're not getting down there yet. Let's check up here. Make sure we don't miss any items this time. I hate looking around big buildings for small items. What was that? Camera again. Number five. Not sure if I've missed any of those, probably. Okay, nothing upstairs. Oh shit. Thought I was gonna die then. Okay, this seems like the next way out. Or to the next part of the building. Okay, so let me straight through. And um, let's have a little bit of a look around first. Before we venture into random doorways. That's locked, thankfully. I don't want too many doors opening up for me. I'll get lost. 
That's locked as well. We've got here more batteries. Can't pick them up though because the torch is already full. So it seems like that's the only door, doesn't it? Yeah, so we just got the one door open at the moment. Let's make our way to that again. This one here. And this one's open. Now we have the sports hall. Whoa. Little storm effect. It's about the best scare in the game so far. <laughs> Batteries. Camera. Camera number six. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? Running around an empty school looking for keys and model heads. And fucking cameras. Yeah, our guy must be a smoker because he can't run very far. What have we got here? More batteries. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's any important items in here. Let's go through this door. This isn't the one that came in, is it? No. Read this. I'm not sure how I feel about this. In a way, I love it. In a way, it's wrong. So what happened was, my fellow student on my team broke into Mrs. Redmond's house. Apparently she lives close to the school and he had called in sick that day. Suspicious, eh? Anyway, he showed us these photos of her naked. Like, wow. He claims that she was a willing model. But it's kind of odd she is never exactly facing the camera. <laughs> okay, so... She's not a spring chicken, but she's still lovely. I mean, if it were me, I'd be proud to look so fabulous in these photos. And it's natural for a boy to have curiosity over women, right? Of course. Especially at that age, anyway. Moving on. That's locked. No, it isn't. It's open. Look in here. Mm-hmm. Not much in here, is there? Can't see anything. Some batteries there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. Although I'll probably be back here in about 12 minutes, searching the place. For a fucking model head or something. Look at this little bathroom here. Is that another camera? Yep. Okay, that was a different noise. Still didn't scare me though. I heard only whispers that some new photos had leaked of Mrs. Redmond. At first I wasn't concerned. After all, no one should feel ashamed. We are all naked under our clothes, right? But this morning I checked my email and there were ten photos of Mrs. Redmond in all her glory. I felt uncomfortable, but I admit it, I looked. And then I deleted it. But there was gossiping around the school. I think the photos were forwarded to everyone. I guess Bart was mad that he failed the class and broke into her house and took them when she didn't notice. We had only a week left and we were just finishing things up. Okay, so Bart took the photos then, yeah? Maybe. Is in here? What's going on here? Is that supposed to be a mirror? Got a hammer. More reading. Today's news is even sadder. Not only is it nearly the end of the school year, and those naked photos of Mrs. Redmond got sent everywhere, but yesterday, when she heard the news, she collapsed on the floor. The principal had to come and help her to her car. Most of us were in shock. I heard tittering coming from the back of the class. Today we have no teacher. She didn't show up for class. She couldn't face her colleagues, and she couldn't face her students. She was greatly embarrassed. At the end of the class, our principal came in to announce that classes were done for this year and to tell us that Mrs. Redmond had committed suicide because she was too depressed. Wow. Okay, then. So that drove her to suicide? I wonder if it was Bart that took the photos. Little bastard. It's all on him, I think. Right then, let's smash this mirror. It looks like that's what we've got to do, doesn't it? Yeah. Straight into... What looks to be a secret storeroom. What the fuck is that? Why is there a heart beating on the shelf? 
I thought it was going to break open and give me another key like the brain did earlier. But I can't interact with it. That's weird. Why would they put a heart on the shelf like that? Okay, pick the knife up. Do we need that for that? Yeah. Right, okay. So we couldn't just tear it open with our bare hands. Yeah, that would be barbaric. Just cut it open with a knife, you know. Is this chapter 6? It is. Okay, so I think I've got to leave this video here for now. Um, there's a lot more to this game than I thought there was. Although there isn't really much happening, is there? Hopefully in the next part, we'll get a bit more action. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video.